Hello, and welcome to the basic safety training video for the pit maker spaces in the Swanson School of Engineering. My name is Alyssa, and I'm here to take you through today's training. The purpose of this training is to give you the knowledge needed to safely and appropriately use these spaces. In order to gain access to the maker spaces, you must first watch this video, then take the safety training quiz. You will need to receive a 90% or higher to pass. After that, come into the Makerspaces for a brief hands-on training exercise so that your PID ID can be registered into the Makerspace database. These Makerspaces are a resource for all students at the University of Pittsburgh. They are administered by the Innovation, Product Design, and Entrepreneurship Program and led by a team of dedicated student leads and mentors. We have three main goals for our Makerspaces. First, to act as a resource for all levels of making. Second, to expose students to a hands-on, design-centered experience that is not received in traditional classes. And third, to foster a community of creativity and collaboration. These spaces are open to any Pitt student, regardless of school or discipline, and all materials and equipment are available free of charge. We believe that every Pitt engineer should gain exposure to real-world project and digital fabrication before they graduate. We have three main spaces in the basement floor of Benetton Hall the Innovation Space Station, the Bioengineering Underground, and the Treehouse. The Innovation Space Station, or the ISS, is located in room B06A and is our home base for the makerspaces. This room is for early stage design and concept development. The ISS has space for collaborative design that's great for project meeting and low resolution prototyping. The Bioengineering Underground, or the Bayou, is located in room B09. It is similar to the ISS with some added bio-related resources for bioengineering students and a flexible teaching space for classes. The Bayou is the primary meeting and workspace for bioengineering senior design and is used as a classroom for multiple hands-on courses. The space is open to all trained students, but only sophomores and higher bioengineers have swipe access to the space. There is a back room in the Bayou behind a glass partition wall, which has some additional tools and equipment that can be used with additional training. The treehouse is located in BO2 and is a digital fabrication lab with two laser cutters, two CNC routers, and 3D printers. This room is for medium resolution prototyping. This training video does not allow you to access the treehouse. You must take a separate one hour in-person training session to access this space. Be respectful to the spaces. Over 1,000 students use these spaces every semester. It's impossible to keep these spaces clean and usable without your help. Make sure to always put tools back in their proper home, clean up your workstation, and use a dustpan or shop vac if you made a mess. Don't leave projects or trash in the space. If you need long-term project storage space, email the email that you see on your screen. Do not ever take tools out of the space. If you're using our tools, you must use them in our space. Don't bring food into the space. Don't run a business out of the spaces. Be respectful to the tools. Many of the tools provided in the makerspace can be incredibly dangerous if used improperly. Treat them with care and caution. Make sure you're using the right tool for the job. Always follow the safety guidelines for each of the machines. Always wear the correct PPE. Always wear closed-toed shoes in the spaces. When using power tools and the soldering iron, wear safety glasses and tie back long hair. Things break, mistakes happen. If you break something or witness something break, make sure to inform the mentor in the space. Even if you did not get hurt, the next student to use the equipment is at risk. Much of our equipment requires additional training. Always make sure you have the necessary training to use the equipment. And if it's been a while or you want a refresher, a mentor will always be available to retrain you. Most importantly, be respectful to the people. Mentors have extensive training in hands-on design and on the materials, tools, and equipment in the spaces. They are there to help you and make sure everyone is working safely. Mentors are the point person if you are unsure about anything, PPE, necessary training, rules, or how to make something, just ask the mentor. In case of an injury or fire, immediately notify the mentor and they will help you. As stated in our mission, this is a resource for all levels of making. Help make sure others are working safely and don't be condescending. Just because you've used the equipment before does not mean you get to skip the training. And when in the spaces, respect the authority of the mentor. Finally, we'll introduce you to some of the equipment, tools, and materials we have available in our spaces. We don't have time to go over everything available in the spaces, so if you're unsure of anything, ask a mentor. When it comes to deciding what tools and materials to use, it's important to follow a good design process. 
Typically, that starts with sketching and brainstorming, then moves on to low-level prototyping with cardboard, foam core, or other low-resolution materials that can be found in the ISS and Bayou. Digital fabrication, such as 3D printing, laser cutting, and CNC routing, typically should only happen after sketching and low-resolution prototyping. Only use materials that are stocked in the spaces. If you want to bring in a material to use, check with a mentor first. Foam core is great for making low-resolution models quickly. Make sure to use a cutting mat, X-Acto knife, and straight edge when cutting foam core. If a blade is dull or chipped, dispose of the blades in a Sharps disposable bin. When cutting, hold the X-Acto knife at a 45 degree angle from the surface and make three cuts. One across the top paper layer, one across the middle foam layer, and one across the bottom paper layer. We have a variety of adhesives in the material bin wall. Hot glue guns are good for joining low resolution materials like cardboard and foam core. When using hot glue guns, try to prevent making a mess of hot glue. Never leave them unattended and be careful, they're hot. Wood glue is used for joining wood pieces together. Apply the wood glue sparingly, clamp the pieces together and wipe away excess glue with a damp paper towel. Then let it sit for at least 30 minutes. Duct tape is usually not the best tool for joining things together. We stock many types of tape in the maker spaces, such as masking tape, scotch tape, and double-sided tape. Duct tape leaves behind a sticky residue and is generally a bad method for adhering things, so we do not stock it in the spaces. Gaffer tape is a good alternative. In addition to foam core and adhesives, we keep a large variety of low resolution materials, plus sticky notes and writing utensils on the material shelves in B06 and B09. We keep more advanced tools in the red toolbox. The digital caliper is one of these tools. You should use it to make more accurate measurements. It's important to zero the calipers before you start. Calipers measure outside dimensions, inside dimensions, and depth dimensions. We also keep hand saws in the toolbox. You should use the back saw or flush cut saw to cut wood, or use the hack saw to cut aluminum or plastic. Before using a saw, first consider if your project could be made more easily by laser cutting, CNC routing, or in the machine shop. There are many other tools in the toolbox, so ask a mentor if you need help. And remember, never take tools out of the spaces. We also have roto bins in all of our spaces that are for reusing prototyping materials. Check to see if something you need is in there before ordering new parts. If it's in the roto bin, it's free to use. The following equipment requires additional training. You can talk to a mentor about getting trained in any of these machines. Drills and drivers, 3D printers, the soldering station, the vinyl cutters and heat press, the vacuum former, mold making, and the other mill. Help us keep this amazing pit resource functional and available by taking care of the spaces. Your next step is to take the online training quiz. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you in the spaces.